tackle the problem of air pollution, IIT Kanpur plans to use a unique method. Yes, the institute is planning to create artificial rain by dispersing a blend of salts into the clouds. However, according to the institute's analysis, the implementation of this rain-inducing procedure is unlikely to occur within this week. Manindra Agrawal, professor at the Computer Science and Engineering Department of IIT Kanpur, told News 18 that as per the present status of the weather forecast, the skies are expected to be clear this week. While Agarwal and his team of around eight researchers are awaiting favorable weather conditions, they have already started the process of seeking approvals from various agencies for conducting this procedure. The institute has begun the process of seeking approvals from multiple authorities, including the Directorate General of Civil Aviation, the Ministry of Home Affairs, and the Ministry of Defense, among others. Last week, the air quality in Delhi NCR reached the most critical level on the index designated as severe plus, exposing residents to significant health risks. The extremely concerning air quality index, AQI, in the national capital compared the central government to take all potential actions to prevent further escalation of air pollution levels. Artificial rain can provide temporary relief to the residents who are desperate for clean air. The procedure is likely to take place post Diwali depending on the availability of clouds and other suitable conditions. Let's understand what is cloud seeding and how artificial rain is created. Cloud seeding involves the mixing of various chemical substances such as silver iodine, dry ice, rock salt and even common salt within clouds with the goal of enhancing cloud density and augmenting the likelihood of rainfall. This salt mixture is fired into clouds using a device fixed on the wings of an aeroplane. Clouds contain moisture and when foreign particles are introduced, this initiates the condensation process. Once the accumulated water becomes sufficiently weighty in clouds, it triggers the onset of rainfall. In June, IIT's team which comprises researchers from different specializations including bioengineering, management integration and aerospace engineering successfully conducted a test for artificial rain over a limited area on the college campus. Aircraft ascended from the institute's airstrip to an altitude of 5,000 feet, releasing a powerful spray into dense clouds, resulting in a substantial rainfall. Globally, the project has been effectively executed by Israel, South Africa and the United States.